minutes and 20 seconds. The official launch time is 3.52 p.m. Central Time or 3.52 a.m. Local Time at Baikonur. A short time ago, commands were sent to switch power from ground sources to the Soyuz's onboard batteries as the countdown moves along with no issues reported. After reaching orbit, the Soyuz's command and control system will be activated and stored computer commands will deploy navigation and commu communications antenna. The first will be the Coors rendezvous and docking antenna, which will be used to provide automatic range and rate information on the final approach by the Soyuz to its docking with the aft port of the station's Vesda service module. And within seconds of reaching orbit, the spacecraft's solar arrays will be deployed to collect power for use by the onboard batteries to generate electricity for the Soyuz systems. What is this now seeing uh, views inside the Soyuz capsule. This is a gift from my children. About 90 minutes into the mission. Okay, so this is Mr. Carter. The crew will oversee programmed uh, activation sequence of a variety of systems as the spacecraft makes its first pass over Russian ground stations. Very cute. Soyuz Commander Oleg Kotov is seen in the center seat, indicating his talisman, the black cat hanging from the spacecraft. NASA astronaut T.J. Kramer is seen in the center view in the uh, far right seat of the Soyuz. How is Soichi doing? After uh, launch, oh, yeah. the systems that will be activated include the power supply systems, radio communication system, and critical motion control system. Okay. Now I'm seeing JAXA astronaut Suichi Noguchi giving the thumbs up. There will be several rendezvous maneuvers to be executed later today and tomorrow as the Soyuz fine tunes its path to the International Space Station. One minute right in now a little over five minutes left to launch. The countdown is proceeding on schedule on the launch pad at Baikonur. At this point in the countdown, the Soyuz's first stage steering jets are in the ready to launch position and ground commands have been received from the rocket, indicating that all primary and backup systems are ready for launch. Onboard systems have been switched to the onboard control, and Soyuz Commander Oleg Kotov's uh, cockpit displays and controls have been activated. The crew members, as seen, have closed their helmets, which puts them on suit oxygen, and a launch key has been inserted in the launch bu bunker, indicating a ready for launch. T-minus four minutes and counting. T minus three minutes and 30 seconds, a nitrogen purge of the engine combustion chambers is executed. Copy. Number two, everything is okay on board. Copy. T minus three minutes and counting. T minus two minutes and 30 seconds. The booster tank is being pressurized for flight. Uh, 
Copy. Pressurization. T minus two minutes, all systems are still go for launch. T minus one minute and counting. The Soyuz is now on internal power. An automatic launch sequencer has been activated. We're now less than one minute away from the launch of the 22nd Expedition crew to the International Space Station. The first umbilical tower separates from the booster. 